Hello my love bugs! Today I'm going to be doing just a quick sit down vlog. Well actually it's not even going to remotely be quick. Um, I actually filmed this a few days ago and then I remembered that there were so many things I hadn't talked to you about. So this might be kind of long winded and sort of chatty. Um, it's more or less a life update, just some kind of housekeeping for my channel. I hope you guys had an awesome month of October and I hope you're excited for November and December coming up. This is like my favorite time of the year um, so I'm a really happy girl right now. There have been a lot of big things that have happened in the universe for us, for our channel, um, for me and my personal life, and I don't really feel like it's something that I can just be like on Twitter saying, oh yeah, we hit 100,000 subscribers, thanks I guess, you know, and like walk away. Um, there's just so much that's happened, and I don't feel like there's an appropriate way to even begin to get out how insane all of this is and how crazy it is to look at the numbers and see that I had 2 million views last month and that we suddenly hit 100,000 subscribers like a month or two ahead of schedule. Um, I just can't believe what happened and some really great things have happened along with the viral video and some really horrible things have happened and I just kind of want to be candid and talk to you about both. So. Um, some great things that happened. We were on Cosmopolitan UK. They wrote a beautiful article that I will link down below. Um, we also made it onto several international news sources with the plus size swimmer lookbook in case some of you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I assume most of you do, but uh, for those of you who didn't know, we went completely viral in the month of October. In like a week's time, we got so much recognition for this video. I put out in August and I was not expecting any sort of um, viralness or any type of just blow up with this video and it happened and it was like just bam and everything changed. I got all sorts of crazy offers because of it as well and they are things that you are going to see coming up. Um, I have so much I want to talk about but I don't want to talk about anything until it's really set in stone so um, the video going viral was huge and a lot of negativity came with it as well. It hit 9gag which I used to love 9gag honestly. I deleted the app maybe like two months ago just because it got a little bit you know. It was like the posts were always okay for the most part. Um, my eyes are starting to water. They are not liking these fallacies. Um, but the comments were always insane and that was exactly what happened. I hit 9gag TV and the comments just were obscene and it brought so much negativity and people were sending me death threats after that. Um, I was just, you would not begin to believe the things that happened after that. But I think that the important thing to note here is despite the negativity, despite the stupid comments, the news sources that brought forward my video and talked about it were not doing it in a negative fashion. It wasn't like, look at this idiot and, you know, her loving her fat body. It was like, you know, this person can teach us all a little bit of something about body positivity. And that, at the end of the day, is what I want. So I'm just so happy that the message is being recognized um, and that it's being taken seriously for the most part. Um, now some other negative things that have come with it and so many of you have sent me emails. I cannot begin to express how many emails I've gotten in the last week um, that I can't even begin to reply to all of them. But because of the fact that the video went viral, those photos circulated. And um, there are companies who make diet pills that have stolen those photos to promote their product. There is not a whole lot I can do except continue to report it and continue to ask them to take it down. Um, I really and truly am very ignorant about this and I don't know what else I can do as far as the steps that I can take. I don't really want to sue anybody, um, but they are fabricating a story about me taking diet pills essentially. So I would love to know if there's anyone out there who could give me any sort of legal advice on what not to get like too terribly serious in this video and I want to kind of move past this in a minute. Um, but if there's anyone who knows legally what I can do to get those pictures taken down, from what I'm reading there's not a whole lot but I really hope that's not true. The last thing I want is for anyone to see that and assume that I support something like that and assume that I support going to extremes to change your body um, because that's not how I feel. I feel that everyone should love themselves and whether uh, you know you are on a path to lose weight or gain weight or be anywhere in between, I think that you should love yourself and I don't really ever want anyone thinking I support anything different. So that's been really hard and really trying. Um, 
but we're getting we're getting through it and I really do appreciate you guys bringing it to my attention um, and yeah I don't know what else to say about that um, just that I'm really disappointed in people that's that that's kind of that housekeeping we had a hundred thousand subscribers that's insane uh, I don't even know where to begin on that <laughs> Um, on top of all of that, I moved house, so I'm in my new house right now, and there will be a house tour. I know it's kind of echoey in here right now, and I know the lighting isn't the best because the sun is going down. I'm still trying to figure out times here because when I worked with natural lighting in my old apartment, it was like I knew all of the right times to film. So I'm still working on that with this. Since it's not a makeup tutorial and you don't have to see colors, I didn't think you guys would mind too much. Um, but I still have professional lights and stuff that I'm going to get set up here in the next few days. And of course this room will be much more decorated and will be on the floor for much longer. Um, the move has been insane. Luckily one of my best friends um, lent us his truck for a little while and we kind of traded out cars. Um, and he took the convertible for a little while so we were able to move things a lot easier. But when you are watching this, my best friend Sean is out here. So we're going to go furniture shopping basically all weekend long and you guys will totally see vlogs with him next weekend. I love him so freaking much. He is like me. We are actual legitimate Siamese twins. We are Bet and Dot if Bet and Dot got completely separated and Dot wasn't such a bitch. I'm also gearing up to go home for a little while um, and so I know that you will continue to see pre-filmed videos but I don't think that much longer they will be blonde haired videos. I wanted to touch on this because I talked about it on Twitter really briefly um, and I thought about making a post on Instagram but I think it's just more appropriate to talk about it here. I really have wanted to talk to you guys about this for a little while but I didn't know how to go about it um, and it's the reason why my videos have been as pre-filmed as they have been. Now part of that is because of the move and because I knew I wouldn't have time to film um, and because I knew my best friend was coming out here and I knew right after he came out here I was going home. And there have been a couple of family emergencies that have popped up and I don't know how long I'm going to be home for. All of that being aside, I think it was just the pressure of filming as many videos as I did. I think I burned myself out. Um, but I just, I honestly haven't wanted to wear makeup anymore. And that's not like me sitting here saying like, sitting here like this does not make me uncomfortable. But I would sit down to film. Um, as per usual and I just found myself more and more and more dreading putting on makeup. I still loved talking to you but I didn't want to put on makeup and it wasn't out of laziness or anything like that. Um, I had this happen once before but I'm just so comfortable in my own skin at this point in my life and I don't really want to put on makeup right now and I think again it's that pressure of if I'm gonna be on camera I've got to be XYZ it's gonna take me an hour to get ready and I was just feeling burned out so it's been nice to take kind of a breather from makeup for the most part um, and I really am starting to feel comfortable putting it back on and I've missed you so much that I'm kind of pushing through it to film some updated videos so you guys aren't seeing things that are a month old still but I did want to say, you know, I know that some of you have gotten really frustrated with the pre-film videos and I genuinely am very sorry. Um, that wasn't my intention. I don't want to let you down. I don't want you to feel like I don't care. But I wanted to push through what I was going through in my own time and with some things that have come up in my family and um, like I said, just some trying times. I wanted to get through things at my own pace. So um, thank you guys for your patience. I genuinely do appreciate it. Um, and yeah, for the most part, that's really it. Just the move. We hit 100,000. That's crazy. Hi, all of you. That's just insane. I want to know what you want as kind of a, not a prize, but like, what do you guys want as a celebration for hitting 100,000? Because I have so many things. I could do a giant giveaway. I could do like 12 smaller giveaways. I could do giveaways on every single social media. Um, we could instead do like a charity drive. I know some people have talked about that. We could do all of these things. We could do a live stream. I've never done one before, but we could. Um, and there's just a lot that we can do to kind of celebrate this. And um, I just want you guys to know that at the end of the day, yeah, like this, this has become my job. And I get to sit here and say, well, I don't feel like working these days. So I'm gonna work my ass off these days. Um, and not have to film for a while because I do feel burned out. A lot of people don't get that luxury and I still do work really hard at this. This still is my full-time job. I really want you to know that while that's true and while I am putting full-time work into it, it still is so much 
not even a hobby, but just this insane way to connect with people that I actually feel like I'm friends with. Um, and people like call like their subscribers friends all the time, but I didn't ever understand how they felt until I got to the point of doing YouTube full time. While other YouTubers feel like my coworkers, you guys are my friends. You're the people who come to visit me at work. Um, and you're the ones who are up with me at two in the morning, talking me down from like a panic attack on Twitter. And you are the ones who are boosting me up constantly and sending me these letters and relying on me when you need me and knowing that I will be there for you. It blows my mind that I can have that connection with 100,000 people. So I just can't begin to say thank you enough for that. That means more to me than anything. That means more to me than any check, any job I could ever have. Um, if tomorrow they said, you don't get paid for YouTube anymore, I would still be so grateful to be able to do this with such a large number of you as my, as my friends and as the people who listen to me and actually care um, and know that I really do care back. So I'm very thankful and I love you guys very, very much and please know that that's completely and totally true. I will see you so very soon with a new video, um, actually tomorrow because I'm uploading like seven days a week again because I miss you. Um, but if you enjoyed kind of this, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know and I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I don't really know how to end this. I don't really want to stop talking to you, um, but I love you and I will see you soon. Okay.